and welcome back to another video from HSTV and in today's video of Tech Sunday I am going to be telling you guys the top 5 things you didn't know about Samsung Notes. Now everything in this video will be demonstrated on Samsung's Tab S7 Plus. And if you are new to the channel and you don't know who I am, well I am a medical student at the University of Edinburgh and over my past year of university, my first year at university, I used the Tab S7 Plus along with Samsung Notes to help assist my learning and help me to take notes. Now this was my first experience of digital note taking and I recorded pretty much every part of it. So if you want a full review of the Tab S7 Plus, go and check out the Tab S7 Plus playlist and if you want to know how I take notes at university, currently anyway, then please do go and check out my note taking series. And without further ado, let's uh, go and see how amazing Samsung Notes really is. Okay, so you probably know that Samsung Notes lets you customise your notes quite a bit. You can choose different page colours and different page templates. But what you probably didn't know is that if you go into the settings of Samsung Notes, you can actually set some default templates and default page colours. So it saves you the hassle of trying to set it every time. Let me show you how. So here in Samsung Notes, if I want to create a new note, it will open up just a white blank sheet of paper with no template at all. And for someone like me, I really wanted to have the black colour as my background, as well as my page template to be lined sometimes as well, because it just helps me to keep all my notes um, nice and straight. Now. I had to do this every time for every single note until I finally realized there was a way I could just have this set as the default. And the way to do this is to go into the settings at the top left hand corner here. So if we go into settings, there's actually an option that says page style and template. Now when we click that option, it gives us the options, first of all, for style. So looking at do we want individual pages when we open up a new note or do we want infinite scrolling? Now I'm okay with infinite scrolling, so that's all fine, I can keep it like that. But for my template, you can see that the default right now is set to just a blank template and I wanted these lines, so I'm going to set it up as that. And you can also set the color color of your notes as well and I really love the black color so I'm going to go for the black and once we've done that it's automatically saved and from now whatever note we open it will have that template and that page color and that style set on it by default. How useful is that? Now the next thing is really really helpful and I use this feature a lot and basically you can have a favourites pen list that you can easily switch to using your S Pen button. Um, so uh, let me show you what that's about. Okay, so to show you how this all works, I'm actually going to create a new note. Now over here, you can see that when we click this pen or pencil button at the top toolbar, we're given loads of options for different types of pens, different thicknesses and different colors as well. But really, if we want to create our own customizable pencil case that we can switch between easily, then this is how you do it. So for example, if I want this pen in red, I'm gonna click the little star button at the top here and it will put it into my little pencil case. Now if I want maybe like I don't know a yellow I put that as a favorite as well and you can see that it keeps getting added to my bar and maybe I'll take a blue as well and add that in. Now you can do this with actually highlighters as well so with a highlighter you know if I want a green highlighter then I'm going to select that and then put it as a favorite. Now once I've got it as a favorite it can get quite annoying to keep having to you know click the pen click the pen and then again write then you know switch back and click another pen and keep going so actually Samsung has made this super easy and all we have to do is just click on the S Pen button and you can see that it will switch between all our pens so that's clicking once clicking again it's going into the highlighter clicking again it's going into my red pen and again it just keeps going through all of my favorites bar really and it's a really useful feature that I use all the time when I'm taking notes because that's how we do it in real life as well we have this selection that we use and sometimes you need that thickness of pen and that color and that highlighter so it's a great feature and I highly recommend you use it if you are using Samsung Notes as a permanent note-taking application. 
Now I think we've really realized by now that the Samsung Tab A7 Plus really promotes productivity. Well, this has taken productivity to a new level. You can now set reminders using the notes you have made in Samsung Notes. Let's go and check it out. Okay, so if we want to create a reminder directly from our notes, the first thing we're gonna have to need is a note. So here in my to-do folder, I've just got a random note for Monday, and this is only for tutorial purposes. Um, but basically, you go into the right top hand corner dots, and you can see that we get a few options. Now we're going to click the add to reminder option and then click the details button at the bottom. And you can see that we've got this kind of menu come up. Now over here, you can set an alert if you want, you can edit this or you can delete this reminder altogether and it will remind you. Now, the best thing about this is that actually if you sync um, with Microsoft and Outlook and Teams and stuff, then you can actually get these reminders on your computer and other devices as well. So this is not only on your tablet, but on any devices you use that you have synced up. Now, this is another really useful feature. Um, if by chance you have deleted a note or a folder or really anything in Samsung Notes and you're like, oh gosh, I really needed that. Well, there is no need to worry because you have a recycling bin. Uh, let me show you whereabouts it is. All right, so let's take a look at this recycling bin then. So first of all, I'm actually just gonna delete this to-do note that I just made and just delete that and it will actually say move to recycling bin. Now you can actually find this recycling bin in your left-hand menu. And over here, there is an option that says recycling bin and right here, you can see um, these are things that I deleted in the past few days. Now if I want to restore something, such as that note that I've just deleted, I can actually just um, click it and then there's an option at the top right that that says restore and once I've restored it that's that. Now the other great thing about Samsung Notes is that you can share your notes but really the amazing part is you can share your notes in so many different types of formats so really it doesn't matter who the receiver is whether they have an Apple or a Huawei or a PC or whatever device they're using there will be a format to suit your way of sharing so let's go and check that out. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna actually show you guys an example of a note. I'm just gonna say that I'm, I'm gonna be sharing this note, for example. And um, at the top here, you can see that we have this kind of little share button. So I'm gonna click the share button and you can see here that we can share it as a Samsung Notes file. Now this will only be able to open if um, the receiver has Samsung Notes installed and it will open just like this and they can actually edit this as well. You can also send it as a PDF file. Now that won't be editable, but it is a universal format that's available on most devices. So it is good for that. Now the Microsoft Word file and the Microsoft PowerPoint file in my um, experience has not been very fantastic. Now, the note does get across and it is editable, but the issue with me is it sometimes messes up the formatting of your handwriting and the text that you've typed. So I don't fully recommend that you use those two formats. You can also send it as an image file, now an image file will just save to your gallery or you can send it as a text file which doesn't really work that well either it kind of messes up the format so really the kind of main really good formats that work mainly on most devices are the Samsung Notes file if it's of course a Samsung device a PDF file works perfectly you can zoom up on it and everything it works really nicely or as an image file that will be basically like a JPEG so um, there are many options for you to send across to different receivers shouldn't really be an excuse and it is only the Samsung Notes file that will let the other person edit the note you have sent. All right everyone well I hope that you have found this video useful and it has all right everyone, well I hope that you have found this video useful and it has shown you some features you may not have known about before. So really, um, well done Samsung and well done Samsung Notes for once again being the king of productivity. I am sure that I will probably continue to use both Samsung Notes and the Tab S7 Plus through to my second year of university and I will keep updating you guys on any new features and um, any changes I make to my note taking as well. So stay tuned, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.